Well, praise God and welcome to the Lead on Home on Light. I want to apologize. I meant to podcast yesterday, but I had so many things in, in many ways get in the way. Well, <laughs> it's time to play some catch up time, and we are going to be covering Matthew chapters 8 and 9. And in many ways, um, I'm happy to, to, to do this. Um, I just got to find the Gospel Library app. <laughs> this is some pretty good uh, teaching here. Okay, we go into the scriptures. Matthew chapter 8. Uh, we're going to do as much as we can. Verse 1. Of chapter 8, when he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. Verse 2, and behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Now, in that society, in the Jewish society, if you touched anyone that had a leprosy, you were ritually unclean. And that's why they ran through, you know, the cities crying out, unclean, unclean. And you know, I think that that's what goes on nowadays with maybe um, high-tech uh, scholar letters, you know. People are being feeling lonely because of how society portrays things. And so this is what Jesus said basically to cover himself in the accordance of the law of Moses. He says, See thou tell no man, but go thy way, show thy way to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. Okay, we're going to cover verses 5 and 6 and 7. And Jesus, when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a certain a centurion beseeching him. This is one of my favorite stories. So you know. Um, and saying, Lord, my servant, which in Greek it means uh, my child. My child lieth at home, sick of the palsy, which is, you know, paral sick of paralysis, grievously tormented. And Jesus said, I will come and heal him. And of course, the centurion's like, you know, I don't feel like you're I'm worthy to come into your room. You know, if you just say the word, and my son is healed, he says, I realize I'm a powerful man. And in verse, verse, uh, here's something it says in the JST for verse 10, I believe. Let me make sure. Yes, verse 10. They say it's 9. And when they that followed him heard this, they marveled. And when Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. That's, that's pretty strong. Uh, verses 11 and 12. And I say unto you, that many shall come from the east and west and the north and the south. And many shall come from the east and west and shall <coughs> sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. 
But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into other darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now, I have to be honest with you. I have, I need to look up in the, the messianic. Sometimes when there's something that's, because I'm thinking, the children of the kingdom, why would they be cast into outer darkness? Well, let's, I say let's find out. But the children of the kingdom will be thrown out into the outer darkness. That one I have a hard time grasping, but we're going to go ahead and move on, okay? Okay, verse 14, it shows how his, you know, Peter's wife, his, she's, uh, his, his mother, his wife's mother is uh, laid sick and feverish. Verse 15. Um, and this is the Greek. And he took hold of her hand, and the fever left her. And she arose and administered unto them. Okay, verses 16 and 17. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast uh, out the spirits with his word. And it healed all that were sick. Here we, here we go again. Healed them all, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of by Esaias, that's the Greek form of Isaiah, the prophet, saying, he himself took on, and took, took our infirmities in there are sickness. Now that's that's pretty powerful right there. It really is. This is this is another one where it deals with the tempest in the sea, obviously. There's so much in Matthew chapter 8. Okay, this is where he's talking to the man that had uh, a legion of devils. Um, let's figure out where to start here. Um, Okay, we're going to start with verse 38. And when he was come to the other side, uh, into the country of the Gergesenes, there met him to possess with devils. Coming out of the tombs, exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass by this way. And behold, they cry unto him, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us? Before the appointed time, 
and there was a great way off from them and heard of many swine feeding. So the devils besought him, saying, If thou cast us out, serve us to go away into the herd of swine. And he said unto them, Go. And when they were come out, they went into the herd of swine. And behold, the swine, that the whole herd of swine, ran violently lay down steep place into the sea and perished in the waters. <coughs> and they that kept them fled and went their ways into the city and every and, and told everything. And when and what was the following to the possessed of the devils? And behold, the whole city came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they saw him that he should depart out of their coast. Okay, since we're probably going to have a lot of uh, verses, chapter 9, we're just going to do cliff notes. Okay, so he enters into the ship and passed over and came into his own city. And there was a man that was sick with uh, paralysis. I reckon, I'm guessing he had a stroke. Uh, lying on the bed. And Jesus, seeing his faith, uh, saith unto the sick of a palsy, son. Be a good cheer. Thy sins be forgiven thee. And so, you know, Pharisees are like, the Pharisees and scribes and Pharisees are like, hey, who forgives sin but God alone? And in, in, in Matthew chapter 5, 9 verse 5, Jesus says, For it is not easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, than to say, Arise and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Then saith he to uh, the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go into thine house. This is amazing. You know, they're thinking... And verse 9, he talks about how he meets uh, one of his apostles, Matthew, who wrote this. And we know that Matthew ran the tax office. And he saith unto him, follow me. And he arose and followed him. And so Jesus is sitting at, at having dinner at the house. And behold, many publicans and sinners come and sit, sat down with him and his disciples. Okay, you know the Pharisees, and you know, they're chomping at the bit. It says, uh, oh boy, this is, this is where it's going to be more interesting. And then came certain men unto him. Um, accusing him, saying, Why do you receive sinners, seeing uh, they make us yourself to be the Son of God? Ooh! And, and Jesus says, he says, But he answered them, saying, Verily I say unto you, All sins which men have committed, when they repent, shall be for, for, forgiven them. For I came to preach repentance unto the sons of men. 
and blasphemies wherewith soever they shall blaspheme shall be forgiven. But come unto me and do the works which they see me do. But there is a, is a sin which shall not be forgiven. He that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of being cut down out of the world, and they shall inherit eternal damnation. And this he said unto them, because they said, he hath an unclean spirit. I think that that's enough for me to really talk to you guys right there. It's a lot of meat, okay? It's a lot of meat. So we're going to call this, uh, this episode Mercy and Healing, okay? I want you guys to get ready. Now, I hope you enjoy listening to Leah on the Light. If you like what you hear, please subscribe, become a part of the Leah on the Light family. This is Jimmy Hendrix saying, until next time, um, Remember who you are. Read your scriptures. And please, please, please preach the gospel. Because he forgives. And he heals. Through the power of his atonement. Take care. And God bless every single one of you. God bless you.